Information has become the currency of the 21st century. Governing and managing this strategic asset is a priority for enterprises of all sizes, whether commercial, non-for-profit, or in the public sector. Highly respected volunteer experts have spent years researching and developing COVID-5. And I am proud to be affiliated with the organization that has offered COVID for more than 15 years. The COVID-5 framework is based on five principles and includes extensive guidance on enablers for governance and management of your enterprise's information and technology. These principles lay a solid foundation for why so many people around the world are interested in COVID. I'll lay them out briefly here. Principle one, meeting stakeholder needs. Enterprises exist to create value and manage risk. You can customize COVID-5 and create value for your stakeholders through the use of your information technology. Principle two, Cover the enterprise end-to-end. -end. This means that COVID-5 does more than focus on the IT function. It treats information and technology as assets that need to be dealt with, just like any other asset. Principle 3. Applying a single integrated framework. There is an alphabet soup of IT-related standards and best practices. Each provides guidance on a subset of IT activities. COVID-5 aligns with them at a high level and serves as an overarching framework to simplify the complexity. Principle four, enabling a holistic approach. COVID-5 defines seven enablers that support the implementation of a comprehensive approach to govern and manage enterprise IT. And lastly, principle five, separating governance from management. COVID-5 recognizes that these two separate disciplines are involved in different types of activities, serve different purposes, and require different organizational structures. Your enterprise has individual needs. COVID-5 helps translate these needs into specific, actionable, and customized goals that create real value.